Seth Biberbaz, your neighborhood friendly Beast Levy here, and today I have a special guest with me. Introduce yourself, you wonderful person, you. Oh, yes. Keep flattering me. Yes. Give me more. Hi, this is Chalagas. How's it going, everyone? And today, Cha and I are going to be viewing a special video. A video that would... How would you put it, Cha? Um, Pervert's Delight, um, Flasher's Fantasy. So many alliterations we could probably make, and you guys will understand exactly what we're talking about in just a little bit. And I should probably give this warning here now. Fangirls, if you have a huge affiliation with blonde males of any form or shape or size like if you're a Kazuma fangirl do not watch this video I repeat do not watch this video exit out right now because this will not be good for your health click back click back click back do it do it oh my god ah. <laughs> so this particular video just to give it a little background is from the video game called Fate Extra CCC it's this sort of prequel sequel doohickey thingy in Medius Ren uh, game that is geared towards the Fate Extra series. And in this video, we have three characters. We have Elizabeth, who's this pink-haired hybrid, hybrid dragon thingy. Uh, and then we have Gilgamesh, oh Gilgi, in all his glory. <laughs> <laughs> and his uh, lounge lizard jacket. But you guys will see that in a moment. <laughs> and then we have the main character, sort of protagonist that you play as, and you can do the whole name game with her and everything like that, male or female. This video has a female character. So, why don't we stop with the talky-talky and let's get with the watchy-watchy. Oh, look! We're in a fish tank environment. Bubbles! My bubbles! bubbles. Oh, I love the horns. They're so cute and they're uneven. Very asymmetrical. Oh my gosh, Kid would be having... Death the Kid would be having so much issue right now. <laughs> well, I mean, we're talking a pink girl in a whole bondage fetish outfit here. True, but he would still want it to be symmetrical. Oh, look at the sailor outfit. The skirt is so short. Shots guy, Oh, those the Japanese. Paradise. <laughs> Japanese in their short skirts. Oh, oh, no, you look at the YouTube day, the students, you know, filming Japanese life in their skirts for a lot longer than that. <laughs> this is their fantasies come to life. The term perverts paradise. Oh, look at the number. One, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one. Very binary. <laughs> Code error. <laughs> Ooh, your windows have crashed. <laughs> red screen of death. This must be the red screen of death and its virtual reality. Doohickey. The floor is very DDR. Is it going to be a dance Is this going to be a dance dance competition that I'm not aware of? Jeez, I would have stretched it Nobody tells me these things, damn it. Yeah. Are they going to break dance? Oh my gosh, Gilgi looks so serious. Oh, I, I, I love the whole um, pathways. Shiny. Ayamaro. He looks like a lounge lizard. This is probably be a uh, like he'd be totally in his element in his uh, studio. Yeah, dance o dai hyoshi. Oh, pretty. I'm looking at the scenery. It's so much more interesting in the dialogue. Oh, oh my gosh, he's getting thoughtful. I don't know what he's saying. A-U-O? Oh, I think it's coming. I think it's coming. A-U-O? Cast off? What does that mean? Oh. Oh, it's right there. Uh... I feel your pain! My golden beauty. I feel that girl's pain! I feel lightheaded. Tribal pink going on. I think it's supposed to be like modern tribal art. Oh, 
She's smoking. <laughs> well, that's supposed to be the horns and the tail and the dragon theme. <laughs> that is so glowing! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going for the mind right now. <laughs> 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 it's not only glowing, it's shimmering and shimmering. What does he use for lubrication for crying out loud? It's glowing! It's glowing! <laughs> Behold my magnificent. <laughs> the Twilight Vampire's got nothing on this! Edward Cullen, screw Edward Cullen. Then we have Gilgamesh. He's so put together, even naked. <laughs> and he's got the earrings, the matching necklace, the bracelet. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 is she gonna blow? Is she gonna blow up? Ruby Q! She's gonna burst into confetti! <laughs> confetti! Yay! Flaming confetti! I wish I knew what Japanese said. Oh, 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 oh! 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 She touched the logo, though! Amazing! It took her actually leaping in the air and doing the whole Matrix pa pause thing to grab the spear. What? Well, they might be in the Matrix for all we know. Uh, could be. Could be. I mean, wouldn't it make sense for the did? Oh, <laughs> she ran off. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. You know you want to grab his um ahem family jewels. You got your little ball stolen. You probably want to grab his. Put the clothes on. Oh, look, now he's got clothes. Lounge lizard, wear it back on. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. No. I think he wanted, you know, this is probably equipped equipped with uh, a slipping girl or uh, a drug, and he wanted her to get away with her. Oh, he is Gilgamesh. Go figure. Yes. It's good to be the king. It's so good. And then we have these random people who appear out of nowhere when they're talking about something. Oh, she looks like she needs to sleep with those bags in her eyes. Girl with glasses. Long bank, too. I guess that was supposed to be... Was that supposed to be an antenna, but it died? Uh, it was humid that day, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't just, you know, um, because of Gilgi? Uh, it could be. I mean, it probably was up higher, and then when she saw him, it whipped. <laughs> he just has that reaction on people. <laughs> okay. Well, that was special. That was special, and to believe it or not, folks, this was my fifth time watching this video, and I still got that reaction out of me. I, I, I love the whole science thing in the background and all that. Um, and. Just so you know, folks, we, we have read the transcripts, and this is, from what I understand, supposed to be inside another girl. Well, I didn't know so much um, equations and stuff like that, binary numbers was, and bubbles for the fish tank would be inside a girl. Well, that, I guess, would explain why we're so screwy. I mean, we have numbers, we have Rubik's Cubes, we have fish tanks, and the Matrix. Apparently, inside our bodies are the Matrix. Uh, there you go. And you know what? He's probably thinking there's too much science going on. Damn it! We gotta have some um, some something going on here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gilgi and math does not mix. Going on. Get something. Go yeah. Now just imagine you though. Can't have too much. Can't have too much science. <laughs> Gilgi doesn't like science. Yes, he he is a former king of Mesopotamia. We did not do science. We did magic. <laughs> they didn't do math either. Be either because I mean, come on, he's. Two thirds god, one third man. Apparently, they didn't understand the concept of genetics. He was like, I don't need math. I'm not Mayan. I'm Mesopotamian. <laughs> we don't need math. We got wheels. Math? We don't need no stinking math. <laughs> we got letters and we got wheels. What now? And magic. He's getting the magic. Oh, the magic, of course. And, and shiny. And shininess. We are forgetting all about the shininess. Very radiant, glowing. Gotta ease up on the uh, self tanner, Gilgi. <laughs> you're, you're reflecting now. You're becoming translucent. <laughs> we can and see I just through love you. He has no shape to him, really. He's just very linear. <laughs> and 
<laughs> well, this is a game. <laughs> well, considering the fact that, you know, it, this is a, a game, and I'm pretty sure that if you actually saw the cartoon version, you would actually see more shape. Uh, probably. <laughs> but this probably fed into every, um, fangirl's, uh, most fangirl's fantasy, but oh my god. Uh, yeah, I, I'd call that perverted. That's perverted. That's my bird. How, how, perverted. how many girls do you think went into a seizure because of this? I mean, the sheer glowing. Either they went into seizure or massive giggle fits. And suffocated. <laughs> They passed out, people found them, and they're like, oh my god, did she commit suicide? <laughs> well, damn. Let's go out tonight. Go, go cruising for guys. And it just, like, totally sucks. <sighs> How would I just love to open up Gilgi's head and just see what's in his brain? I don't know. That'd be, like, a really scary place to explore. <laughs> that would be scary, but it would be so worth it. Yes. <laughs> or just be like the alligator hunter like cranky this is one of the most dangerous men in all of Mesopotamia just one poke will get him to sit off and blast you away I'm gonna poke him with a stick <laughs> or better yet he'd be like cranky we are in Kildun to find a girl there are rumors in the wild I can't do the voice <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna poke okay, him with I a stick okay I think they all know on the crocodile <laughs> May he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So on that note, <laughs> one quick question: huh. What do you think would happen if he did that in front of Saber? Uh, let's see. I would almost want to say she'd laugh, but she doesn't really have a really profound sense of humor, so laughing would be out. <laughs> she'd probably be like, "Eh, I've seen bigger on Scotsman." <laughs> Because you know Scotsman, you know what's hiding under the kilts. You never know. You, you never know. Yes, but I don't. I certainly don't think she'd get a nosebleed, and I certainly don't think she'd go. No, either she would be like, eh, or she would get red in the face and get very angry. And then probably get mad and probably draw her sword and try to um make a unit. <laughs> You don't ever touch that. You, no, no. You can't touch that. No, no. Don't go there. No. <laughs> I, I just love how they... He's the king of Mesopotamia. What is he? Supposed to be the king of kings? The king of heroes. King, king of, of heroes. That outfit is not terribly heroic. It's incredibly, it's incredibly gay. Fabulous! But that's <laughs> about it. No, but I would not say that's a very heroic outfit. Leather, you know, all leather. That's heroic. Black's you know? very trendy. Yeah, it works for Batman. You know, the, co the sculpted codpiece chest plate. Yeah. I'm the goddamn Batman. Exactly. And then, oh, spandex, you know, it, it, that's the only time spandex is allowed, is in the hero's outfit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, leopard print and the whole matching earring and necklace set. Yeah. Very, um, I keep expecting the soundtrack to include, um, BG Stayin' Alive. Ha, 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 Stayin' Alive. He would make a good Iron Man, though. Yes, he would, he would. But I think the Iron Man soundtrack is certainly not even remotely disco. <laughs> no. He likes ACBC and the like. <laughs> that That's his preference, yeah. That's the next Fate game, Fate Iron Man. Gilgamesh starring as Iron Man. Uh, but and Saber is the Black Widow. Oh, yeah, she would. She'd totally be the Black Widow. Or female version of Thor, because, I mean, she is the female version of King Arthur. Yeah, Thor's all about duty and everything. Yeah, Thor. Thor. And it's not just because they're both blonde and have fabulous hair. A fabulous. Fabulous, of course. I don't hate her because she's beautiful. <laughs> Well, I think that concludes our Let's Watch. Any final thoughts? Now that you've regained your breath. Any final thoughts? Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs>